Welcome back everyone, I'm Sethara, and today we're getting ready to dive into a epic level difficulty battle master run in Skyrim. I have some interesting ideas to power level your character, particularly with battle mages. They allow you to level up far more than just one or two skills whenever you go into a fight. So my goal in this run is to never run out of perks, like to always have more perks than I actually need. Uh, I think that's a fun challenge because usually if you've ever played Skyrim, you're always shy on perks, right? You're always wishing that you had a couple more perks. So the idea of this character will be to optimize your perk generation when you're traveling, when you're fighting, and when you're just crafting. And uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, so I'm excited. Let's dive in and see what the future holds for us. I'm not going to talk too much during this opening sequence because Bethesda does a great job with the epic fantasy presentation. My voice won't add that much to it. That comes later. Bethesda always starts you off on either as a prisoner or on the brink of death. I do not know why, but it's hey, fun to you. start at the bottom for sure. Finally awake. Work your way up. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walk right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. But they hadn't been looking for you. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they capture you. Oh, God. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going, but Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dabella, Kinnereff, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Uh, this is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daniel? Where are they going? Let's go inside. Why? Why are we watching the soldiers? Inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why, Why do you think? think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, Tiff. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Get towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. No 
will care of Rorik's death. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! This one in well. Zig, zig and zag, zig and zag. He did not zig and zag. Wait, you there. Step forward. Who are you? All right. So our goal here is to set up character with maximum defensive power, magical ability, and well, given that we're going to be wearing armor and helmets for <laughs> the entire game, I'm not too worried about how he looks. Uh, I always like to start off as Bretons, though, because of the bonus resistance to magic. Once you start fleshing out your smithing skill a bit, uh, it's not really an issue to have enough armor. But spell damage, that will always find a way to cut through. So it's always, I, I prefer to go Breton. And that's how we'll start. I like Omnibus for characters that are He's going to learn potentially everything because, well, it's Skyrim Enhanced Edition with Legendary Everything. So if I keep to the playlist long enough, he will eventually learn everything. Are you from Daggerfall, Breton? Fleeing from some court intrigue? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to High Rock. Follow the captain, prisoner. Geez, somebody's got some bloodlust issues. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Dun, dun, dun. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get I never realized that this first Stormcloak is the one saying that. It's like cutting off the priest and saying, no, let's do it now. He's got guns. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? <laughs> He's got some really good one-liners. And that was the last one. No more one-liners for you. You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death, as he was in life. I feel like that first person calling out Imperials was uh, surprisingly brave, considering they're executing people that are dissing Imperials right now. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. You can never get over how close to death Bethesda likes to put you right at the start of the game. You have nothing, you are nothing, you're nobody. And there's the head of the last person that was in this spot. <laughs> what in oblivion is that? Sentry, what do you see? It's in the what do you see? Because <laughs> it's hiding, you know? It's not in plain sight. Uh. Eh, so time to go. Go. And ah, Ooh, I loot? Nope, dang it. Forgot my hands were tied. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move now. Up through the tower. Let's go. This is one of my favorite scenes. Just really sets the tone of holy crap. Them. Ooh! I'm close. And he's done. Here we go. Ah! I always take a little bit of damage on that ball. And here we go. <laughs> Look at the kid. There's dragons running around, smashing to the ground, and the kid's just standing there in the road. Is 
still alive, prisoner? Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. But you tried to take my head off. I have to find General Tullius and join the defense. God is God, you have Stay close to the wall! Uh-huh. There's anything left of the wall by the time this thing's done. Quickly, follow me. I, I always hesitate to follow this guy on my first playthrough because I mean, if they order him to kill me, that's just what the, that's what he'll do. So I feel like you can't really trust the Imperials much. Oh, hello, hi. Someone, I guess, I zigged without zagging. Oh yeah, time to go. Oh jeez, okay. And they did a good job of making this thing look more like a devil creature than a dragon. Nice. Okay. And me not paying attention, of course, sidestepping into a wall. Come on, here we go. Favorite character death of Helgen. Right here. Ah! I can't figure out if that would be the worst way to die or the best. I mean, you'd see it coming, for sure. And it'd be over quick, right? And away we go. We'll meet again, Solid Guard. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Right. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take on your gear. He won't be needing it. Okay, so for this playthrough, we're shooting for light armor, one-handed. So, uh, already got to start it off in the right armament. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. Ah, this one's locked. It'll be a couple of levels before I can get the right items and spells to really optimize this character's uh, perk generation, but it is going to very much be worth the wait. Come on, let's go. Yep, yep. Check out this gate over here. Come on. Damn. No way to open this from our side. Come on, soldiers! Keep moving! Cover. Get this gate open. That the ch I think that's the same captain that tried to have me executed. Oh, this will be good. Merry Christmas! Aha! Oh jeez. There's one down. And there we go. Oh, oh. Time stake. There we go. Okay. And true to uh, Skyrim methodology, mass loot everything. And if I remember correctly, you can actually double back the way they came, and you will find. The small barracks. So let's see. I do not need an iron sword. Could could use more armor. I don't think I'll need wine. I'm definitely going to use gold. That is for sure. And then we'll check out these chests. Empty and not. Okay. All right. Let's suit up. All right. So we won't need the heavy armor. We're definitely going light on this. Light boots, bracers, helmet. I thought I saw a shield in there somewhere, but apparently I was mistaken. Okay. And yeah, we'll go with dual wielding swords now until we get a shield. This guy is going to go magic uh, later on, but for now, we're going to level up his one handed. At least till we get through this initial sequence. Come on. Let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Right? It's kind of funny. This is the only sequence where the dragon is actually inflicting property damage. 
I mean, it'd be hard for them to code a way that dragons could attack, set entire buildings on fire, which would then collapse and then have to be repaired. That would be... I mean, it would certainly help the immersion, but it would be tricky to get that to work. Hello, gentlemen. And... Come on now, stay down. <laughs> See, that is a technique called stacking, where you're working on bad guy A, while bad guy B is on the other side of him and can't reach you. Yeah, we'll take an iron dagger. Another iron dagger. What difficulty am I set on right now? I, this seems to be going particularly easy. Expert, huh? Okay. Well, maybe it'll get a little worse later on. We might up it to master if it's going this smoothly, particularly once we start getting the perk generation the way I want. We'll be unlocking a lot of abilities fairly quickly, so we might jump, jump up to master or even legendary. Although with legendary, usually I play spellcaster types, and legendary complicates that a little bit. Done. Let's get moving. There's a way to make your destruction magic just limitless, and you can combine a stagger, but then at that point it doesn't become as fun, because legendary then just becomes wailing on them for 10 minutes until they drop. Wow, they're already... jeez. Usually when I get here, I have time to help. <laughs> uh, bring off miss all of the fun. He just like smashed into the corpse just to, I don't know, look good for his friends. Uh, whatever. All right. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. There we go. See, oh, it's heavy. Yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we will hold out for light armor. We want a light shield. Might as well get rid of all the extra junk, though. Uh, we do not need a rough spun tunic or foot wraps or fur boots. The rest will be sold. Lockpick my healing. Definitely want to make sure you're hitting every lock that you can, because even if you're not putting perks into lock picking, it still generates perks every time you level. So part of this perk generation build is going to be focused on employing skills as fluidly as possible that you're not necessarily going to be putting perks into. And when I was first considering a build like this, I thought it would mean like you go in with your two-handed weapon that you never actually use in the quest line because you prefer one-handed, but you're trying to, you know, get additional perks in a skill you don't use. And then that's kind of counterintuitive because invariably something comes raining on your parade, catches you off guard, and you're stuck using the weapon you didn't want. But if you combine the right spells and the right tactics, you can actually level up five or six different skills in every combat encounter, as opposed to just the usual two when you're using a weapon and armor. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. Let's see, do we wait for my mob of friends, or do we dive right in? Wait for my mob of friends, or do we dive in? And uh, now we dive in. It was a bad day to be an Imperial soldier. And we'll stock up on some arrows. And grab a longbow. I don't know how much archery I'm going to be using, but uh, we'll find out. Goodbye. Ooh. What a way to go. Dual wielding is so cool. This was one of my... I, I played a lot of Oblivion, definitely a lot of Morrowind uh, when they first came out. 
And this was one of my favorite things that I saw when they brought out Skyrim, was being able to dual wield, especially magic. Dueling spells was just fantastic. Alright, I don't think there's anything else hidden in corners around here. You just head down the steps and keep running. Usually when there's a light source like that, there's some kind of a plot device or something to loot. But in this case, nope. And nothing to do there, just money. Money in the bank. There's a nice hide shield when you find one. Okay, so we take off all the spiders, and then we're going to drag them back here into the mine, into the tunnel, so that they can't gang up on us. Forces them to come at us one at a time, and then we wail on them. There we go. Wow, this is going quite well. I'm tempted to bring it up to Master already, just to uh, see if that drives me somewhat in insane from... Sudden difficulty. Come on. There we go. And loot, 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 senora. Loot it all the time. Oh, wait. Oh, did I miss one? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, the, the physics of the game can be pretty funny, because apparently I just, like, bumped this thing with my head, and it flew, like, 10 or 15 feet. But, you know, I will go to those lengths to uh, loot 7 gold, because... Money talks, especially because I'm going to be doing a lot of spell casting, and uh, that gets expensive, especially for enchanting. All right, let's see what's the next part. Is this the bear? Yes, it is. Okay, let's uh, get some stealth going for us. Can I get up there? Thought I could get up there. Nope. Alright. I do remember there is money over here. There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. I figured out on a previous playthrough if you can get up high right here. Uh, it makes it a little harder for her to get to, yeah. Whoa. Sneaking is overrated. How am I doing that much damage? That seemed a little high. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Okay, well, I guess if we're doing that well, why not? Why not? Let's go ahead and... Oh, not controls, settings. Let's go ahead and bring this up to master. And away we go. I don't think there's any more loot we can get in the dungeon here. Which just leaves us with the exit. Like the way out. I knew we'd make it. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this first episode of our Battle Mage playthrough. If you like my content so far, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below as to your favorite start on Skyrim. Do you prefer thief characters, melee characters, pure mages? What's your poison? And without further ado, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye.